right, today we're gonna bring a rotary tool and we're gonna use this for 3D printing. Uh, we're gonna see if we could grind some of the actual extra excessive PLA that we have. We're gonna use this tool today, including with it the rotary tool, a couple of accessories that you need to know about, an extender. This is actually a good, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's just to stretch it out and just have it sit in one place. And you can use this independently so we're gonna go ahead and use it of course we got the manual and we're gonna set it up this is a power the reason I got it is like I don't want to run out of batteries I want to continue to work and when you're using this make sure you either wear a protective mask and glasses all right so let's go ahead and put it to use and see how well it works all right once you plug it in you got your off and on button here you got the different levels one through max each which is seven probably right and that's pretty much it so right now when you turn it on turn it on and turn it off and then to hold down to tie it down you hold this button to actually loosen this up so you could actually put your different heads that you had right so we're gonna go ahead and do that set it up with two to release everything that was included in the kit it's not the best of it uh, my suggestion is buy your own set of um tools uh, the extra accessories which i'm talking about the actual bits uh extra sanding and so forth because the ones that are included um they were a little flimsy some fall apart the sandpaper was falling all the time it's not tight enough um the actual uh the drill bits that it had included with it were not strong enough and i ended up buying a whole new set just for that but the rotary is very good easy to handle and i like the flex shaft that it came with uh, that was a very good accessory that i have now i don't have to worry about all the tanglements i could stretch it out very good easy to use i hope you guys enjoyed the video